Today, I'll walk through how to use the AWS CDK and the Amplify Data Construct to create a GraphQL API. Then, I will demonstrate how to connect a Flutter app to that API using the Amplify Flutter library. I will start by creating a folder for the CDK app. I will call it CDK Backend. Inside it, I will create a new CDK project using the command CDK init. I used VS Code to open the newly created CDK project. I used the command npm install to install the AWS Amplify data package. I updated the file CDK backend stack to use the Amplify data construct to create the AWS AppSync GraphQL API. Note how I defined the to-do model to use a name, description, and a boolean complete flag. I used the API key as a default authorization mode. To deploy the CDK stack, I used the command CDK deploy. The CDK prepared the resources for deployment and displayed a prompt. I entered yes to go ahead with the deployment. The CDK deployed the stack and displayed a confirmation showing the details of the deployed GraphQL API. I will use those details later in this demo. Next, I created a Flutter app targeting the web platform using the command Flutter create. I opened the app using VS Code. I updated the Bob spec YAML file to add the required dependencies. I'm going to use Amplify Flutter Amplify API and the Go Router packages. I used the command npm install to install the Amplify CLI package. I created a new folder and named it GraphQL. Inside it, I created the file schema.graphql. In this file, I defined the to do data model similar to what I used for the CDK app. I generated the GraphQL Dart client helper files inside the folder lib models using the Amplify CLI command code gen models. Next, I created the Dart file to do item page inside the lib folder. This is a stateful widget that will present a form to the user to create a to-do item. It will use a GraphQL mutation to add or modify the to-do item. The form will use a text form field widget for the to-do name and description. A switch list style widget for the done flag and a button to submit the form. Next, I created the home page Dart file. This page will use a GraphQL query to retrieve the list of to-do items and display them in a list view widget. It will also allow the user to delete a to-do item by using a GraphQL mutation. I updated the main.dart file to configure Amplify. I used the details from the CDK app to get the ABI endpoint 
ABI key value and the region for the Amplify configuration. I used the Go Router package to set up the routes of this app. That's all. Now the app is ready. I run the app using Chrome. I created few to-do items and the app displayed them on the home page. I can update the to-do items and flag them as done. I can also delete a to-do item by dismissing it.